Hello and welcome to Let's Play The Walking Dead. My name is Jemalf and I'll be your gameplay commentator and choice maker through this graphic adventure developed by Telltale Games. Here we go. The Walking Dead is based on the comic book of the same name, which has also been adapted into a highly successful horror drama TV series, currently airing its fourth season at the time I'm recording this. I haven't read the comic books, uh, sadly. I found The Walking Dead through the TV series, which is, together with The Game of Thrones, my favorite series at the moment one of my favorite series of all time in fact so very excited to play this game very happy to finally have the time i haven't played the game before so this let's play is completely blind i haven't even pressed that play button and uh, the game consists of five episodes i will play through all of them and then there's 400 days DLC, which I will also play. I think that leads towards the season 2 of the game. But uh, since I haven't played anything and read very little about the game, um, that's all I know. So, without further ado, let's get into the game and uh, enjoy the ride. New game it is. I guess you can have three, three different uh, save slots. Okay, I noticed these options already in the already in the options, so I could have kind of hints on the screen. No, I don't want like that. Yeah, let's go without the hotspots, without any kind of hints what my choices will uh, will affect. That's what I've understood from the game. Uh, what you do. The choices you make heavily impact the story as it goes. Kind of, uh, well, I guess in the spirit of The Walking Dead, who stays alive and who doesn't, and uh, things like that. Alright, so minimal. And we start with episode 1, A New Day. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I'm excited about that. Turn off your lights. I did. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be this excited to uh, play a zombie game. Maybe I should get more into, more into moody mood of it. Anyway. Episode 1, A New Day, and that is Atlanta. So we are getting away from the town or city, that's good. Being handcuffed is not. What are you looking at? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Hmm? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Silence is a valid option. Oh, and that there's a time constraint in choosing these, uh... And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Okay. We got what looks like a 1091E near Peachtree, exit 285. All cars ask to keep on the lookout for a 91B in the area. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Uh, 
Hmm. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I, I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Uh... Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. What? Sure, it's all okay, man. You know, maybe you should pay attention. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. <laughs> I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. <laughs> uh, so did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. Uh, this one's a little bit uh, less out, man? and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. <laughs> what's this other time... We Don't you twice. And so it begins. Time constraint, oh shit. With time restriction on the dialogue and a uh, and whole lot of talking, it's a bit hard for me to find uh, find time to actually commentate on this, but uh, we'll, maybe I will get the hang of it, we'll see. At least I will enjoy playing. A shotgun. What the hell did he have his gun out? Oh, I know. <laughs> you, you, wanna, you wanna hear? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cut back here. I don't think I don't think he looks all right, man. You know. Find a way out of the car, the door, the window. That's right. Ah, oh, put some power to it, man. Ah, I need to move to the window. Don't cut yours oh don't cut yourself to the window. Uh. 
hope... The officer's shotgun is over there. I hope no one shoots our guy here because he's limping. <laughs> All right, leg. Mm. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Well, I guess you're right about that. Officer? That's keys. Shit. <laughs> oh, wow, are you kidding me? That doesn't make any sense. My character here was shouting at... Uh, shouting that, is he okay? And then suddenly he acted in a way that he knows it's a... It's a zombie? Of course, that was... That was done for us. For me as a player. But doesn't make it... Well, anyway. Doesn't make any sense that... Uh, Fellow would have been that's oh shit. Officer? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! You should have picked up picked up the gun from the police. What in the hell? Get away from me! One shell? Where the hell are you? Oh, you better make this count. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Just stop. Aim for the head, man. Don't make me do this. Aim for the head. Now he knows what's up. Shit! What the hell is this? Wait. Hey, kid. Is that a kid? It's not a zombie. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh, no. Take the weapon off the cop. He had a sidearm. Oh no. Pick up the gun. It's You should have picked a weapon and then run. Someone has a gun. It was a it was a little kid, wasn't it? I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Girl, maybe. 
Ah, there was a little spoiler there in the episode one image. There was a there was a girl there. Are you up there? No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! Of course there is no ladder because the girl pulled it up. Anybody up there? I wonder if anybody's home. It doesn't... It doesn't look like it. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Alright, well maybe I should. <laughs> I was thinking of getting the hell away from here, but uh, getting supplies. Good idea, man. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's home. Why don't you try to open it? Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. A little? <laughs> you need a whole lot of help, man. A whole lot of help. Coming in! Don't shoot, okay? I still think she should have picked the sidearm. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Yeah, I think they do. Jesus. You saw the blood, man. <laughs> I guess I can't blame you with your uh, leg and everything. Can I get something to drink? Yes. What's that beeping? <sighs> Answering machine? Is there something to eat? Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Babysitter, eh? That bleeping sounded like an answering machine or something. Hey, pick up a knife. Pick up a knife. Oh. Okay, pick up a walkie talkie. I think you should pick up a knife. A fork will do. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Maybe there's something on there. <sighs> Maybe. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just 
leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hello? You need to be quiet. That must be uh, Clementine. Who is this? I'm Clementine. Yeah. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. The tree house? <laughs> Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. Hmm. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. And there's the babysitter. Okay, the little quick time. Quick time event. Oh, I told you to get the knife. Okay. Kick it. Oh man. I was too slow with my hits. I was enjoying the moment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have, have to remember the time constraints then. No hesitation then. Exactly, man. Did you kill it? Mm. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh... Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Mm. Wait for the dock? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. 
We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. Mm -hmm. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. That is a good Let's idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. As fast as we can. And someone will mistake. Someone will mistake us for a zombie, that's for sure. I found the bastard. Yeah. All right. Are we going to die? No. 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 I'm sure we're fine. Stay down. Georgia State Patrol. Dude, he won't listen to that. It's police. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean, Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Uh... I, I just saw a girl. Inside that house. Nah, it wasn't him. Oh shit. You hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, just some guy. <laughs> some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! God, the guy said dad's farm. Herschel's farm? <laughs> <laughs> 